going on guys let's look at this problem right here here this question is asking a core with three legs is shown in figure below it depth is five centimeter and there are 100 turns on the leftmost leg the relative permeability of the core can be assumed to be 2000 and constant what flux exists in each of three legs of the core what is the flux density in each legs Assume a 5% increase in the effective area of the air gap due to the fringing effects. Now here we are going to take some assumption like this, this core can be divided up to four regions and R1 is going to be the left hand portion, R2 is going to be the center portion, R3 is going to be the center air gap, R4 is going to be the right hand portion. Okay. Now let's go ahead and calculate all of the reluctances. To calculate the reluctance, we use this formula R1. R1 is for the left side. That's going to be L1, left side length over mu R, mu naught, A1. The left side length, if you measure, that's going to be 1.08 meter divided by mu R that's provided 2000. 2000 and uh, mu naught is a constant that is 4 5 times 10 to the power of minus 7 a 1 is the area of the left hand side that is 0 0.09 meter multiplied by 0 0.05 meter because the depth is 5 the width is, uh, the length is 9 meter 9 centimeter so in meter is 0 0.09 now that's it and if you calculate this one you're going to get 95.5 kilo ampere per turn times turns per weber now the same thing we have to do for the r2 l2 r2 is the reluctance of the center center length over mu r mu naught area length if you measure that's going to be 0 0.34 meter divided by mu r is 2000 mu r is 2000 mu naught is a constant that's 4 5 times 10 to the power of minus 7 and after that the area the area is going to be 0 0.15 meter multiplied by 0 0.05 and that gives us 18.0 kilo ampere turns per Weber now the next thing is R3 R3 is the center air gap for the air gap we don't need to put the mu r because for the air gap mu naught is going to be the only thing okay and uh, the length of the air gap is 0 0.0005 meter because this is 0 0.05 centimeter if we convert this one into meter that's going to be 0 0.0005 meter divided by mu naught that's a constant 4 or 5 times 10 to the power minus 7 multiplied by the area area for this one is 0 0.15 times 0 0.05 times 1.04 all of them are meter i neglect the units for these things neglect all the units okay because if you put the units you have to put for everything if you neglect you have to neglect for everything so I just neglect the units okay then R3 R3 gives us 51.0 kilo ampere times turns per Weber then R4 R4 is the right hand side L4 divided by mu R times mu naught times a4 the length of the right hand side is 1.08 meter divided by mu r that's 2000 mu naught is a constant that's 4 5 times 10 to the power of minus 7 and a4 is the area of the right hand side that is 0 0.09 multiplied by 0 0.05 meter and that is same as the left hand side that's 95.5 kilo ampere times turns per Weber 
okay here the question is asking for the flux and flux density now here we have to calculate the total reluctance to do that to calculate the total reluctance this is the formula r total since the turns are toward the left hand side that's the one we are going to have first that's r1 reluctance one plus r2 plus r3 times r4 or you can write it as r2 r4 plus r3 r4 divided by r2 plus r3 plus r4 and uh, these are the values let's go ahead and plug them r1 is 95.5 plus r2 is 18 plus r3 is 51 times 95.5 divided by 18 plus 51 plus 95 and that gives us 135.5 kilo ampere times turns per Weber okay this is our total now let's get rid of this now we have calculated the R total from this one we can calculate the flux to calculate the flux this is the formula phi left left is going to be the total because the turns are in the left side so whatever the phi total is going to be from the left side phi total is equal to magnetomotive force divided by R total Now magnetomotive force is basically turns time the current. Turns are given, that's 100 turns. And the current going through this is, current is, okay, let's see whether it's given right here. Three legs on the, in the depth, 100 turns left most leg. The relative permeability of the 2000 constant is just, Okay, here the current is shown in the diagram. That's 2 ampere. That's the current we have to plug right here. 2 ampere. This is 100 turns times 2 ampere divided by R total. That's what we calculated right now. That is 135.5 kilo ampere times turns per Weber. And that gives us 0.00148 Weber then uh, here what flux exists in the three legs of the core we found out for the left let's calculate for center we are, we are going to see what is in the left center and the right to calculate for center center is going to be on top center is uh, actually yeah to calculate the center R4 is going to be on top, R4 and R2 plus R3 plus R4. Now this one gives us R4 is 95.5 divided by 18 plus 51 plus 95.5 again. That gives us and the whole thing multiply by phi total that is 0 0.00148 Weber and that gives us 0 0.00086 Weber and this is the flux at the center now the next thing is we are going to calculate the flux at the right right is going to be equal to R2 plus R3 R3 divided by R2 plus R3 plus R4 multiplied by phi total and let's go ahead and plug the values <coughs> let's use a different color R2 is 18 R3 is 51 divided by 18 plus 51 plus 95.5 multiply by phi total that is 0 0.00148 
and that gives us 0 0.00062 Weber. Okay, this is for right, we've calculated for left, center and right. Now we are going to calculate the magnetic flux. Okay, let's go ahead and calculate that one. To calculate the magnetic flux B, this is the formula. B is equal to phi left for the left side, B left is equal to phi left divided by A. Phi left is 0 0.00148 Weber divided by the area that is 0 0.0 9 meter times 0 0.05 meter and that gives us 0 0.329 tesla and b center is equal to phi center divided by a phi center is 0 0.00086 weber divided by 0 0.15 times 0 0.05 and that gives us 0 0.115 tesla and b right is equal to phi right divided by a phi right we calculated that is 0 0.00062 divided by the area 0 0.09 times 0 0.05 and that gives us 0 0.138 tesla and that's how we do that i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching and if you are trying to learn electromechanical system there are a bunch of videos in my playlist i hope you guys watch that too don't forget to subscribe see you next time